Tins Vlog 0312, no, 0301, 2018. Right, <clears throat> I don't know what I'm gonna say. Um, so, you know, it's gonna be one of those really long videos that no one wants to watch. But that's fine because it's a vlog for me to get things off my chest. And just put a marker, you know, where I am. And uh, this has mainly to do with AJ Miller and Divine Truth. Of which I'm very happy to say I now have kind of gone a full reversal from where I'd had a full reversal. <laughs> So I'm back, back with him. I mean, I'm going to mention a couple of things that he said, which to me sounds like he's talking straight out of his bottom hole. But in terms of emotionally processing and growing in love, I can see now how, how expert he is and how lucky we are to have access to this information however hard it might be to find but it's not that hard really I mean if you have sp the luxury of spare time on your hands that is which everyone can make time if they're interested enough so all right, so I've I haven't watched them all. I've watched uh, 16 videos of this latest lot that's been uploaded. I've got I've watched now just two videos where Mary is channeling. And I was so skeptical of her channeling in the past. I think I was on the button though that she wasn't making a very good connection to this what do they call them celestial spirit <clears throat> but um, so she started out and her voice would change and then she was a bit in and out and every time she kind of slip out AJ would kind of butt in with a question but uh, like she mentioned it's different doing it on camera than it is when she's just private on her own. It does bring up, it makes things more challenging when you've got a camera facing you, you've got to get used to it. So she, and she did, and she, she did good job, good job. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of sorry that I've lashed out uh, AJ and Mary before and um, as you can see a bit tearful so and even like the first like group of videos you know some of them were like half good and half bad and some of them were, a couple of them were like mostly good just the odd things but a few of them were you know I dislike a couple of them or one of them anyway but anyway yeah I don't know where to start where to whatever they say you should plan it but well I don't know if they do but I sit there thinking things in my mind and and I think that, that <laughs> Instead of sitting there thinking it in my mind, I should have just said what I was thinking in my mind. It's usually best off on the first run. Even if it means it doesn't seem very structured and just chaotic. I kind of know when I've said what I needed to say. So, I did start... Start out quite sceptical. Um, 
I mean, I suppose, you know, I start listening to a video and I'm thinking, yeah, I agree with that. It might be a bit boring, you're going on a bit. But yeah, basically, yes, I agree with that. And then, and then says something like, and I haven't checked this out yet, says that the, the lungs are the primary thing for getting rid of toxins. And it was Mary who brought out first breath, you know, toxins in the breath. And then AJ's like, well, yeah, the lungs are like the primary, <laughs> primary uh, organ for expelling the toxins. And I haven't checked this out yet, but to me, that's just, that's just BS. Um, if I absorb toxins by eating, they're going to go into my belly and the, then the liver's going to deal with them or if it's poison it goes straight to the appendix and it's the liver which stores tops, toxins and stuff until the liver can do a, a kind of a, a an emptying through the bile duct straight into the colon and that can happen But so, so the lungs, you know, what you're telling me, the body takes toxins to the lungs to be <coughs> thrown out? No. I mean, I smoke. I know a lot about my lungs. <laughs> and certainly, um, coughing, <coughs> you know, brings up... That's why smoking kind of aids coughing and makes it phlegmy and doesn't hurt. And that... Bring, that will bring up the toxins of the things you breathe, breathed in. But, so there's that, you know, and that's a little thing. And I'm thinking, you know, I don't have to talk about that. That's, you know, that's for, for other people to make up their own mind on whether that's the truth or not. But I did start to get into this sort of feeling where I sort of got got this impression that AJ was just concerned with making Mary, like, believe in him in a sense, you know, and if he's got a cough and, you know, she looked at him a bit oddly, like, you know, wondering why he's coughing maybe and, and maybe he's just made up some crap. <laughs> and I did get to the point where I thought, oh my God, you know, like, he doesn't even believe it, and it, you know. So this was a negative. This was a negative. So it could be one thing that sort of started off this sort of, oh, I've got to be wary now. You know, like, where is he? What's his intentions? I did get to the point of thinking that's it. His his pure intentions is to convince Mary. That's all he cares about. He cares about Mary's progress, and as long as he's he's convincing Mary. He doesn't doesn't care what what else happens and doesn't mind what what he says. So, and then and then there's this thing and so this is this is a definite thing I I disagree with AJ on and he, he when he's talking about the the closing of the celestial levels, so you get to level. Six, seven. Seven is like you made it to God, and then eight, you're sort of more into the celestial things. But, um, you know, and then because they talked quite a lot about it in these videos, it's been mentioned over and over again, you know, that, and then Mary making sure. But if anyone's just even felt a tiny bit of God's love, then that, that definitely the, the gates won't close on them, sort of thing. And AJ saying, yeah, definitely not. the the gates won't close on them. And, but, you know, this whole thing about the gates closing, I mean, it just, you know, AJ would sit there and talk about logic and applying logic to what a loving God would do. Well, there you go. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'll just apply a bit of logic to what a loving God would do. A loving God made all these beings and then 
said, "Oh no, you lot, you're too slow. You haven't, you haven't, you know, you haven't cottoned on, even though I'm invisible and stuff." And well, I sent AJ. Didn't you watch his videos? <laughs> like, hello. Come on. There's not going to be any cut off. God will take all the sheep, and we're all sheep. And he, they mentioned the goats and the sheep thing a couple of times. And they did mention the wheat and the chaff. But he he never went into it. And if you read... But, but he just said uh, about the wheat and the chaff, he did say that it's, that it's just not true. You know, that's basically as far as deep as he went with it. He just said, look, you know, anyone believes that God would just burn up... Burn people up. You know, that's not true. But he does believe it's true that God would just close the gate on them at a certain point. I think what's going on here is that all throughout the Bible, all throughout history, prophets and everything else would use motivational tactics to get people to want to get to know God. And it's just a natural thing. It's just like... So it's just, you know, and it's got to the point where the church said, we all be burnt in hell on fire and stuff like that. So it's just basically more of that. You know, no, no matter how long it took you, if it took you a million years, but it's not going to because God has the plan. And listening to AJ, the more it sounds like is that there's a lot of people in the sixth sphere. Sixth sphere. So it's not as though they're far away. It, it wouldn't take, it would just take that one thing to make them think, yeah, I can do that, I can go that, I can get past this false ceiling. So that could happen very quick. And I think what, um, what we know from people in society is that you know, there can be a, a really good thing in the world and, and a few people get to hear about it and, and and it grows slowly. And then, you know, it can just go boom, like a tidal wave and everyone's, everyone's suddenly into it. So, that could well happen. So that's really... Um, and the, the only other issue I still take with AJ is that um, and, and this has become less of an issue because I'm starting to get him um, he'll, you know, he'll go on about you know, say he's speaking to this celestial spirit he's like, yeah, you know, isn't it weird, you know, people they're just not sincere and they're they're just not taking it. They were talking about sort of basically the failure of their last uh, sessions, what do they call them, where they're helping people out, you know, doing the live, writing on the board, people are there, whatever they called them. And how they, they, that they didn't work. In fact, maybe the one at the end of 2006 left people in, you know, hadn't progressed but almost regressed after that um, and he's like oh, yeah, no, 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 no. it's sort of moaning about them that they haven't progressed then he'll sort of he'll sort of you know be sort of slightly you know you know it's, it's, it's the people's fault and all this and but then you ask him is if he's progressed oh you know he hasn't oh yeah because I've I've got all this extra shit I mean you know I might be Jesus but you know I've, I've got all this other stuff that you wouldn't even start to comprehend you know I just find that you know I, I, I see this is why I guess this, this is this is what makes me wonder about what's going on in there you know and and is he just concerned about sort of pleasing Mary um, 
And then I even had this thought that, you know, Mary might be being overcloaked by a spirit that just wants to fuck AJ up, you know. <laughs> so, but I think after what I've experienced today, I think, you know, I just really, I've just been, just been overly sceptical of them. Um, I was even thinking today, like, maybe I should become a critic. And I thought about it, really? <laughs> Is that what I'd want to spend my time just criticising other people's stuff? You know, oh, that's, that's, that's crap, I don't want to do that. Not at all. I'm going to get a piece of paper. Right, so so th those are basically my only, um, with the videos I've seen so far, they're my only issues, right. So, not all that bad, but, and so then, so then, okay, so then, um, today hearing uh, Mary talking, um, doing the channeling with the celestial spirit, and and yeah, and I was at the same while I've been listening to these videos today. I've been sitting on the floor meditating, and the pain in my feet thing has has been plaguing me. So, that's me meditating. And, so I've always been thinking, you know, I've, I've had it for, yeah, going for two years and it's not always and sometimes I've managed to deal with some of it and, and you know, what put us off the talks in 2016, I think it was the one before it went, AJ was saying how much pain, how much a big deal of the uh, things we've got to process is our pain and how we've got to accept that pain, pain. And I was thinking the whole time, you know, I haven't got that much pain and, you know, even when I was getting the pain in my feet, I was thinking, pain in my feet, why is it in my feet? Why is it there? And, and yeah, convincing myself that it, it's not me. And perhaps, you know, including there was this thing about me thinking that I was the Christ and I'm not going to talk about that at the moment. Um, so, so thereby me going, well, it's not me, <laughs> right? It must be the world's pain that I'm feeling. So I just thought today... You know, why is it in my feet? Why is it down there? And it's sort of like down there, because it's not, it's sort of down there. So it's, so it's quite obvious now that down there, because, because I've pushed it down there. I've, I've sent it away, that's not part, that's nothing to do with me, like, look. But it also, because there is my my connection with God, you know, Mother God, like the the world we're connected to, the floor we're connected to, and yes, and for a while I stopped sitting on the floor, so I was again finding a way to avoid this. And what it was interesting when I sat back on the floor, I was like, I'm back, you know, I'm back doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So when I have, you know, and when I have sort of noticed some of this, when I have experienced this, this pain sort of comes up. Uh, there's one more thing about aging, and sometimes it 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 can manifest as it's 
a pain somewhere else or in my back, quite often in my back. So have I had this back pain and I've kind of sent it, no I don't have any pain and it's kind of sent it to the to the floor of me, I think possible. Yeah, AJ, AJ doesn't seem to understand the Holy Spirit. <laughs> And this sound, you know, it's going to sound after what I've just said. Now I'll just say this sounds really big-headed, but um, I, you know, I've been, I've been, I've been allowing God's love into my heart, and as I've shown before, um, you, I've been, I feel God's love coming from the top, and God's love coming from the bottom, and this is Father God. Now, the holy. So that's love. So that's love coming in, and as God's taught me, you know, receive and and respond with love. So then I would love love back, and this is how we make love. Love is made. You know, we're made of love, but we can make love by interacting with other beings our parents being one of them, our mother and father God, and everybody else. Kind of making love. But the Holy Spirit, as I've shown in my video called Truth, is is something that happens when you hit on the truth. It's like the Holy Spirit is like being in truth. And it's and the feeling's different. If I if I could draw this body from the side so I I know you can't see if it's too small, but <laughs> that's someone sitting down from the side. So, like, so love is coming in directly down into the center, directly up into the center. Now, so there's your heart. There's your heart, right? The heart of your soul. Holy Spirit. It's lower down and sort of nearer the front. And it's just like this. You hit onto a truth and it's just like a... No. No, it's not a spirit. It's not a spirit because it's so... It's so straight. And it's Father God's thing in a sense. Truth. Rather than a Mother God thing. So anyway, so this is the other thing with AJ, he doesn't really explain how things feel. Now, he actually admits this in his videos, which is good, right? So this is good. Because he, he, he says, to you like, you know, I'm not at one with God now, or blah, blah, blah. But he's going from what he remembers... And he does say this, I can't remember the exact words, but he's saying, remember, we, and he says we at this point, we're saying what, you know, we can remember from our experience before. So it, it seems to be, so that's why he doesn't go into what this feels like and, and stuff like that, because it's, so I don't know how he's got his memory or his information, but... What is clear to me from what he says is that he definitely knows his stuff because he's sort of, he'll say things that just click and it's like, that's exactly, that's exactly what I was doing. Um, and, and the stuff he's saying now is, yeah, is kind of the stuff I'm dealing with now that they've just been going on about feeling my pain and and they're saying it's like a good thing when you when you notice your pain so I you know I sort of suddenly then right so okay so this pain I've got down here is mine and I've been doing all this to sort of and I've, I've been the other thing I want to say as well is that yeah I you know I often get I've for the last couple of years three maybe I, I have been, there has been a, an entity which has been confusing me. 
So, and quite often, it happens straight after I have a true connection with God and a realization. It's of, it's often that like that that must make me visible to this other entity that suddenly wants to deceive me and I suspect this entity might be Yahweh but you know that might be just being me totally big headed but last year when I was saying about Yahweh being Adam and I sort of the attacks sort of stepped up well I was probably being attacked before but didn't really realize it or didn't notice it or didn't accept it maybe I wasn't quite so open to it blah 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 so there's something I just want to uh, for the record a correction so two videos ago or a couple of few videos ago one about Eureka we're a new branch on the eternal tree of life so that was just something for me a realization and see straight after that I was having then this you know sort of this realization then I start feeling this thing and I said oh I know the direction now and straight away it was it was someone else it was it was in someone else like as soon as they saw as soon as they saw a, a potentiality to kind of get between me and God, um, they took it, and it took me a week or so to figure out that this wasn't what I thought it was. I thought it was the eternal tree of life I was feeling, and I imagined that Father God had moved, and that Mother God was still there. But it was weird because you know I was getting back pain a lot like and I didn't quite know what was going on so eventually I sort of because I had this intention to sit down and meditate and figure out a bit more about it and I thought hmm like surely the, the eternal tree of life is still going to be male and female but I'm only getting this coming in from one direction and I was thinking what's that all about so um and then it was like stuff started happening to try and distract me and not work on it. And I was like, oh, oh right, doesn't want me to work on this. This this is familiar, right? I've been here before. Um, so as soon as I sat down, thought about the feeling again, and then, well, that's, <laughs> you know, and then bring God back in, oh God, sorry, <laughs> like, yep, yep, yippity yep, so now, because the eternal tree of life thing is still true, that realisation that I went, but I'd sort of wasted a week going down a, uh, a dead, end, dead end black hole, and so I have now had um, full of, because and it wasn't a complete waste of a week at all because you know what I realized what I realized and God has sh shown me is that um, you know God's on this tree of life too right so this tree of life is a big thing to God and we're on the tree of life and it's a big thing to us. So it's like it's like God is God is the next node of the branch along. Well, we're just like the bud that's just sprouted or whatever, and God is that next node along. And then you've got God's mum and dad being the next node along. And although God is, you know, God is this is God's universe. God has made all this and designed all this, and and this, you know way 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 beyond us in uh, love and everything else but not as much as I thought before we're sort of closer to God than we think we're also a lot older than um, perhaps well at least I thought before um, although we didn't become aware in those lives we experienced it 
and so we've been primed and prepared, you know. So we're not. So we're we're still babies in a sense, but we're we we're, we're ready, right? We we've, we've been made ready. We are all ready. Yeah. So that's good. So I had a slight realization about AJ and um and why he is like he is. Having in this I this realization or this it might not be true, right? This is my understanding. I've come to recently because I've started to experience how my soul has been growing and changing. And So it's the difference it's the difference in you after your soul has grown. And there are lots of differences. And so what I can see in AJ now is that he has this soul which has grown. And and that's him. And Although he's in his physical body, he's a he's a fishing net filter for his soul, so it doesn't all shine forth. In fact, you know what what, what shines forth is the, the still the the bits that are are blocking his soul in a sense. In, in a sense, they're much more obvious to the outside eye. And so I guess I know now what, what what Nikki is on about when he says, you know, the people over here who've just watched the videos don't really get a full sense of what AJ's like. And also, you know, when Mary has gone before, oh Jesus, you're so amazing and you know, I don't think us who've watched him on videos only have, you know, find that a bit weird, to be honest. But I can imagine now that in meeting him, his the qualities of his soul would be felt by people, and so yes, I've grown this new respect for him. It's something that I I can now finally get, and I'm probably not fully until if I if I met him again. Even though I think I did meet him in Africa, but can't be sure about that. But I didn't. I wouldn't have been open to feelings like that at the time, anyway. And he might have been so much more blocked then that nothing was coming forth. Anyway, so yeah, newfound respect for that. <sighs> I, I still don't like him using the name Jesus. I still wonder if um, him and Mary are truly soulmates. But you know, I'm I'm I've got I've got to the point now where I'm 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 more understanding that you you know you people hear the truth when they're ready for it and and that's me included and you can't just force it down people's necks you know I think it's the you know you, you speak your truth uh, you say it to whoever's listening and and you and you move on um, so you know I don't I'm not gonna get cross about somebody else who's not listening to me. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm like, I'm cool with it now. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Um, right, I, I, I smoke ganja, okay? And, um, and tobacco, right? Well, but they're both natural products. 
Okay, you can call them drugs. Yes, and you can abuse them, and you can get pleasure from them, and use them as a tool. And I probably do all three. And every now and then I do take a break, and I'm probably due for a break pretty soon. Okay, so I'm not perfect, but, you know, like, I don't know what my point was then. I don't know. What was I saying? I'm over it. Okay, yeah, well, I was going to start to say, what I was going to start to say is I think since I've sort of felt this about um, being on this eternal tree of life, sort of, you know, understanding. See, I had to, I think that, yeah, then I'm going to say this first, there's something different. But when I first heard A.J. Miller's stuff, you know, it just, it just like blew me away. It was like, I'd been going on my little path of truth and I was getting somewhere, but I had certain, I don't know how long it would have taken me to think God is an entity. Like, just doesn't have a physical body as a soul, and we've got a spirit body, a soul, and a physical body. You know, I, that could have just taken me forever. So it's like, boom, like, just, wow, they just... And it seemed so cool at the, at the start, you know, it was something I really wanted to follow. But I had to fully understand it. I had to put it in context. And, um, you know, and that's what sent me off on a journey. And, and I have got to the point where I, where it fits, you know, and I've, I haven't completely followed what AJ says, you know, some of the stuff I don't agree with, and whether God has got a mum and dad, you know, he hasn't said, but he started saying that God is infinite. And then I know we're not talking about the same, <laughs> we're not talking about the same thing. Because, you know, I think about God, I think about our creator, our mother and father. That's, you know, that our personal connection to our mother and father. That being, that entity, is not infinite. In the sense that I'm not infinite that I, I was created. Maybe six billion years ago I was created. God, our mother and father, was created at some point. But God has a mother and father, and they have a mother and father, and so on, and that is infinite. That's the infinite. That is the eternal tree of life. So, you know, so when AJ's talking about God being infinite, then I think, well, he now he's talking about the source, eternal tree of life, love. Love designed this. Love found a way to make it cool, to make it awesome. You know, before we existed, I didn't exist. My soul didn't exist. But love did. But now I exist. And I will not cease to exist. I've got to like me. <laughs> and everyone who got created is going to get there. You know, God doesn't take step backwards. So, this leads me on to what I was going to say, is that I think perhaps I've got into the eighth sphere into these celestial parts or I can get there because I think on here on earth is where I mentioned the smoke I can go up and down quite a bit you know it's I can flitter between you know say the third to the eighth I could be flittering like that so sure really I want to get to a point where I can not not require anything at all apart from the fresh air I breathe, some water and a bit of fruit. Okay? So I'm not there yet. And that living 
here in a town, I don't think I'd be able to do it. I think I'd have to be off living in the wilderness to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, so like I'm all good, I'm all happy, I am happy and I'll yet to wait and see but there's pain in my feet that I'm beginning to feel now, you know I've been sitting here for a while, it's squashed, but I don't want to just move and make the pain go away because something happens when I do deal with it and but I don't know for sure, I've just got to give it a go and sometimes stuff happens so possibly, eventually, there won't be any left and however that may take some time and I'm trying to think about where this pain might come from what this, this is uh, emotions I'm not feeling and there could be some rage and anger at God perhaps and now I and when I thought of that, I thought about when AJ started his series of videos, uh, one, one of these session helps uh, a while back, started it off with, what do we really think about God? You know, we think God's... A, uh, and I got really angry about that. Yeah, it's resistance, isn't it? And I didn't like it, and I still wouldn't... <laughs> I would have liked it. But do you know what I mean? So maybe he's just feeling what's out there and you're just saying it as it is without dressing it up, without trying to make us feel a bit good about it. <laughs> you're just putting it straight out there. So, and so I don't know, it's very, very possible that back when I was two or three and, and, and what I was feeling from my parents didn't weigh up with what I was feeling from God and then I pushed God away, right? And I might have then, after that kind of having lost that feeling, had anger towards God and blame, and maybe that's why I went running, terrorising girls and making them scream and pulling their skirts up and then did that practically until I was about <laughs> 11 or 12 when I started smoking. And tobacco pacifies me, I know it does. So, is this what it's all about? Very possibly. Very possibly. So I will, and I, you know, I've, I've been making some progress, and also, you know, say God, Father got in from there, and Mother got in from there. So I was thinking, well, on this eternal tree of life, why would it suddenly come from here? That makes no sense. It would still have to come through God. Now I do get to a point, and there must be more than one way to feel God, but that sort of God's love entering my heart, you know, that, that works and it's reliable. And I, God doesn't let me down, and I ask and it comes. But then sometimes I'm feeling like I'm in God and God is in me, and that's, that's a really interesting thing to feel. And, um, and then there's all the seven colours of... Uh, love and the seven spirits of God and I'm feeling those and um, yeah and AJ mentioned something about chakras how when you go into the eighth ninth whatever you you actually have more chakras uh, that's probably something I'm gonna try and nail down and because I've only noticed five within me not even there what am I talking about yeah. Well, yeah, the third third eye. Humility, heart, emotions, affection. But, yeah, that's something I, I need to look at, or I want to look at. Also, you know, a lot with these trickeries, often it's, it's coming into your forehead and... Down, you know, it's, again, it's just stuff I need to experience more of it. But, you know, the golden rule, receive everything with love. Don't try. Don't try. No. With the heart, it's like, it's, it's much more a case of let go. Here we go. I'm um, trying to coach people again. But, yeah. So, 
that's um, that's that for now. Right, just one more thing. So just listening to these uh, celestial spirits helping uh, talk ch Mary channeling them and them discussing things, and then when I just had that sort of realization about AJ's soul, right, and how yeah, how it it it's it has grown. It's he's got a, a very loving soul, and and it just I just connected with one of these celestial spirits that, and I just knew it was them. And the way I felt, the way I felt them, was like almost right through the God channel in a sense, where I feel God. But it didn't feel like God. It just it felt like that individual and yeah I just got a really nice feeling a few tears came to my eyes yeah yeah so I think that's it that's all I wanted to say alright ciao